Hi, I'm Emma and welcome to another one of our Honey Buns Bakery pudding hack videos. And the aim is to show you just how easy it is to convert our cakes, which are available online, honeybuns.co.uk, into really, really quick, delicious puddings. So today we've identified the Oaty Raspberry Bar as our next candidate gluten-free, dairy-free and vegan, and they're registered with the Vegan Society as well. They're made with OT, um, gluten-free oats, muscovado sugar, refined coconut oil, unrefined coconut oil, and raspberries, lots and lots and lots of raspberries, absolutely delicious. Um, right, so what we're gonna do, I've got 250 grams of mixed summer fruit, the stuff I could get my hands on fresh, you can use frozen if you need to or want to. And I've got a mixture there of raspberries and strawberries. Helps if they're super ripe as well, because you're going to want to mash them up roughly with a fork, like so. Now, this is just to rough them up and to so you make them a little bit easier to break down in the oven under heat. And you want to retain some texture, so don't pulverise them overly. You're not looking for a paste or a puree. Just crushed, I guess, would be the posh name for what I'm doing. Right, there we are. Like I say, with frozen berries, uh, exactly the same principle. You're just going to defrost them and state in the obvious before you mash them a little bit. And that's it. So you crushed some of the fruits there. You're going to need an oven proof, small oven proof tin or dish. Pop your fruit into your dish. God, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, depending on how sweet you want it, you could stir in, you would have done it at that stage though, a preserve. And we're loving this. It's got brandy, prosecco, I can't remember whether it's rum or we're going to read it. Yeah, strawberries, it's got prosecco in it, brandy, vodka and lemon juice. It's, well, it's loaded and it's really, really tasty. Be careful if you are cooking this for vegans. We're not today, we haven't got any vegans in, but if you are cooking for vegans, just check whichever jam you're using is suitable for them however much you want really. I'm not going to put too much in, not that it isn't yummy, but simply because I prefer a bit more tartness in my puds and the crumble topping is going to be quite sweet so I prefer not to put the jam in at all. I wouldn't add any sugar either um, if, I, if I was doing it for myself. It's all personal preference isn't it? So what I would do, omit the jam and give that a squeeze of lemon juice as well so you really perk up the tartness of the fruit acids but that's just me okay and then snip in some fresh mint i did literally get that from this from the garden if you're lucky enough to have a window box um garden then this is a thug it's really really easy to grow and it takes over so it's a good idea if you're growing mint to keep it in a container unless you're happy, which I am, for it to run rampant, I really don't mind. And it's taken over and colonised the pathway outside the house. That smells and looks absolutely delicious. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna spike that lovely mixture with some pins and be as luxurious, as decadent as you want, but I'm gonna put two capfuls in there and I'm gonna give it a little swirl around gentle agitation to make sure the flavours are all cool that smells so so delicious so it's a really really lovely light super easy crumble for a summer's day now for your crumble bit take your raspberry bar and crumble the bits you're going to need between two and three pieces, I would say. This is gonna serve two, generously. Preheat your oven at this stage, or preferably before actually. If you preheat your oven to 180 degrees C, and then you're gonna put this in the oven 
I put it on, I put the timer on for 12 minutes. You're going to want to see caramelization of the crumble bits and slight turning brown, deep, deep golden. You don't want it to catch and go black. And you're also going to get a sticky, fruity, jammy, syrupy edge around the tin. Now, I'm a bit torn. I think I'm going to go with that. I quite like how you can see the fruit around the edge. You could go for a third, depending on what kind of a crumble, yeah, penchant you might have. I'm not going to put sugar over there. I'm just going to leave it and it will it will go caramelised. Like I say, 12, 15 minutes in the oven and this is what you end up with. And we couldn't resist eating <laughs> some of it earlier. It's so, so delicious. So, yeah. You can see the vibrancy there. And what I did with that one is added some freeze dried raspberries as well for really, really pumped up raspberry flavour and a light dusting of icing sugar optional. You, if you were feeling fancy, you could you know, put a bit more mint on there or what have you. But there you go. I really, really hope you enjoy it. We'd be lovely um, served with a vegan ice cream alternative. Jude's do an amazing vanilla one. Or you could do, if you preferred a hot custard, then you could make your own with oat milk and some vanilla and other stuff, which I can happily put in a blog for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.